dear friends um, welcome to the seventh straw of the 25 straws for his manger a reading from the gospel according to luke chapter 1 verse 39 onwards in those days mary set out and went with haste to a judean town in the hill country where she entered the house of zachariah and greeted elizabeth when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. Dear friends, uh, once again, welcome. Um, we are, I continue to be here at uh, the Church of Immaculate Conception in Penang. And uh, um, this, is, this is the next beautiful place, a wonderful place. You see people a lot come here and pray in front of the Blessed Mother asking for her intercession and prayers. Today let her intercede for us as well. For the seventh straw, the one thing that uh, always has been uh, very sentimental in connection to Christmas has always been the Christmas card. And uh, this is a Christmas card I actually got uh, here in the parish as well from one of the parishioners. It's something that has changed over a period of time nowadays with more of whatsapps and uh, and uh, with social media greetings we forget um, that there is always a sentimentality that's that's connected to the Christmas card and the sending of the Christmas card as well the beautiful nativity scenes or the wonderful things written inside it as well the pain that goes into sending something like this it's far more easier maybe with WhatsApp and, and social media where you where you maybe forward something that someone else has forwarded you, a greeting that you can maybe kind of make up and send it up, send it across as well. I remember when we were in the seminary, we uh, were not given many cards that we could, Christmas cards that we could post. And uh, in the minor seminary, we had to buy them. Uh, there wasn't much money. So what little money we had with us, we had to spend it on buying the Christmas cards. But I remember when we were in the novitiate, we were given permitted five Christmas cards to send out to five people that we could we could send it out to. And so we had to choose then, who am I going to send that Christmas card to? And that's always a difficult choice because you get only these five. Obviously, one would go to your parents and if your siblings are not with them, then you're thinking of sending one to your siblings as well. So for me, it was it was a choice I had to make. Who was I going to send that Christmas card to? And I remember making the decision to send that Christmas card, one of those Christmas cards to my grandparents in Mumbai. And it's not that I've, I got any from them. Uh, and I don't think I even sent Christmas cards to them before. But for some reason, I sent one of those Christmas cards with um, with a long detail of what's happening to me in the in the seminary as well, in tiny little letters because it was a tiny card, so you get only a tiny bit of space. And I sent that across to them. Now I don't know what their reaction was; they never spoke about it as well. But for me, it was something that was very sentimental. To think that my grandparents got a Christmas card from me. And I'm very grateful that I actually did that. I'm very happy I actually did that. Because I don't know if I've actually sent a Christmas card after that to them. They're no more. And uh, I won't get another chance to send a Christmas card to them. And therefore, when you look at it, these cards have much more, much more sentimental meaning. A lot of, a lot of, um, inner joy that you can share with someone. During this Christmas, maybe a beautiful straw that you can give for Jesus, something he loved to sleep on, that baby Jesus will love to sleep on. It's a Christmas card you can send to someone 
Or maybe you haven't sent a card to for a long, long time. Maybe someone you've not greeted, even over social media, for a very long time. Someone who you might not be speaking to. Someone who was dear to you at one point, but maybe things have not gone right after that. This is the Christmas season. Maybe you don't send cards anymore. Can you make maybe an effort of, of picking a card out, writing something within it? It's not easy. Nowadays, even to write is difficult. Writing something within it, something that's sweet, something that's nice. Taking the effort of getting a stamp and posting it to that person who maybe you've not been in touch for a long time. Do it. Because we don't know if we will get another chance. Life is so short. Life is unpredictable. And it's important. We don't know if these same people will be there with us tomorrow. But that straw will be really special for Jesus. Because it won't be easy for you to do it. You might not know what their reaction is going to be. They might not speak about it at all. But in your heart you will know that this Christmas, the straw you gave for Jesus, when you send that Christmas card to them, will be meaningful. will be something Jesus will really enjoy sleeping over. For he knows his child has done the right thing. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the many Christmas cards we've received. At times we've not appreciated them as much. We've taken them, just maybe put it aside or chuck them out. We ask you to bless all those people who took the effort, spent the money and sent us a Christmas greeting, sent us a Christmas card. This Christmas, O oh Lord, give us the grace to humble ourselves and think of those people we haven't spoken to, who maybe a little Christmas card might make a huge difference. We don't know how they are and what state they are, but give us the grace to make the effort of taking a card, writing something on it, something that is blessed, and to send it across to them. Lord, I pray for every person who makes this effort today, Every person who is going to make, going, going to get that Christmas card, make an effort to put something nice in and send it to that one person who they are struggling to speak to, struggling to relate to. Give them the grace and the blessing that they stand in need of for that one beautiful straw they are placing at your manger. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I hope you get a wonderful Christmas card this season as well. God bless you. There's an old Christmas card in an old dusty trunk. And it brings back sweet memories dear to me Though it's faded and worn It's as precious as the morn When I found it beneath our first Christmas tree I thrill with every word, every line Guess I'm always sentimental Round this time Pardon me if a tear Falls among my Christmas cheer it's the memory of an old Christmas card You know, I don't know why I get to feeling sentimental about this time every year. But every time I see a Christmas card, I somehow can't help reminiscing 
about the very first Christmas that you and I spent together. What a beautiful Christmas card you gave me that year. Why, I know you must have looked through thousands of cards to find that wonderful poem that still brings a tear to my eye. I thrill with every word, every line. Yes, I'm always sentimental around this time. Pardon me if a tear falls among my Christmas cheer. It's the memory. 